saying it freely. I mean, this is like the only time he said it, and this is like in a high. I doubt it. <laughs> but, but the thing anybody is, buying that shit at all? But, but like you say, this is high intensity, and that's when your car is flipped over or you're trapped in a burning building. To you, he's just playing a video game. But that is you. not high intensity. I'm sorry. Yeah. To some people, like, no, but no, if you're no. Like, like no, 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 like no, 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 no. If somebody, if somebody decides. Yeah, Chris Rich, PewDiePie. What happened with PewDiePie? Says, anybody hear about this? I didn't hear about that. Was well, something new? Hey, oh, hey, Corey. So basically the most popular YouTuber in the world, PewDiePie, said the N-word, like my man over there said, hard <laughs> R. He's been a racist dumbass in the past, but people have invoked it's a joke and free speech anyway one company is already demonizing his videos demonetizing Demon oh i'm sorry but <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah i'm sure he's like you can, you can de- demonize them all you want yeah don't take my money don't get <laughs> dirty yeah. demonize but don't demonetize uh already demonetizing his videos here's an article here's on that in the clip itself oh no let's What a f- Jeez, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, Sorry, fuck him, man. You know, fuck? you know, that was completely yeah. unnecessary. That yeah. was like, like, there was no <laughs> context for that other than I'm a racist motherfucker, man. Right. I mean, did, like, so people like watching this? Yes. Just, just watch because they don't have friends. Okay. So he's a friend that they can watch video games with. It's like they're there. That's yeah. why they do that. That's why Let's Play is kind of rolling. Yeah, you know what? Because I've never, ever come in and said anything bad about PewDiePie. And I've known about PewDiePie. But now, I can honestly come in and say, I don't know what the fuck anybody ever saw in this guy. I you held either. back no, because yeah, all you. Yeah, yeah, I guess you did because I've always been bad. It's been explained to me some kind of way. And somebody help me out here because somebody tell me what the deal is with this because they said something about it was the region that he was in at the time when YouTube was coming up and being popular. He's one of the first guys to come in and do like the, the, the playthroughs the way he does it. But really, all he does is scream and yell. And he's one of those guys that has got so much fame that corporations went in and tried to give him money Disney. and Disney of all people tried to come in and did give him money and I always knew that this was going to happen I'm not trying to say I'm ahead of the curve but I said I know these people have their place on the internet and, and now people they're going to see them as oh this is a good way to get the young crowd the millennials the young money in there and they bring these people in and they unleash a monster and then all of a sudden it affects everybody. Our YouTube revenue has gone down because of this punk right here. Really? Yeah. yeah. And he's gotten so big that now, just like with some of the things that we say with directors and actors, he has so many people behind him that now he thinks that he can say anything and have no repercussions. Right. And that's the thing with these gamers. Obviously, it looks like he's mad at the game, right? So he's getting really intense. But like the culture of gaming is, is really racist one to begin with. And having him throw that N-word out there, I mean, I imagine... I just example good one probably play Overwatch somewhere <laughs> online and hear that a bunch of times because that's how little kids react and that's how they get mad because they think it cuts more. So you know that he says that shit all the time sure. just when he's not on air or and, he's yeah. using another profile. <laughs> See, that's just him, man. That's that's why everybody got mad at us about Bill Maher and even I said that Bill Maher has to come in and he has to he he, he has to come in and uh, explain himself. He cannot he cannot. Uh, uh, be given a pass on saying that word. I, you know, I, you know, I never said that, but I didn't get mad at people. Like I want him fired. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I, 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 you know, I said he has to take. He, he has to own up to what he's done, and he can't be. He can't be encouraged to like you loosely use that word again. And that's we we're talking about Bill Maher when he was on his show, and the context of his joke was. Uh, somebody was talking about working out in the fields or something, and then he said, "Oh, I'm a I'm a house nigga," and everybody got mad. And I said, "Yeah, you know what? Somebody needs to hold him to task because he shouldn't feel like he should throw that word out that loosely." But I would never want him fired over that. I never thought he meant any, anything malicious behind that. Right. Yeah. It was in context. Maybe it's something that's not cool, but it was in context. It was yeah. It was in context of a of a, a joke or what he was saying with within that conversation. Yeah. yeah. But this right here, just loosely throwing it out there and knowing that people are watching him. Hold on. What a f- 
You know, oh wow, God. man. You know, and that said with some. That's that. I mean, that's that hard R. Yeah, yeah. that's some. That's that's that venomous <laughs> R at the end. That's some. That's a sweet. He's like Swedish or something. That's that Swedish hard R. Yeah, that's, it's more girl than me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, like that. That letter itself is racist. <laughs> <laughs> he looks legitimately mad. You don't. Say, you know. You don't just say that. You say that when you so. Is that the word that he comes to mind when he's as most mad? Of is course. that? Is I mean that? That's awful. Yeah, you know. I, that's awful. I, I you know, and believe me, I'm not some person who's going in trying to cry racism all the time. And I don't, maybe he doesn't. I'm not going to say he goes. He really hates black people or anything. But well, he's done all that he Nazi have, stuff before. Yeah. Well, yeah. he's like the Nazi thing. And hey, man, this guy's been pushing it. It's almost like I don't know if he's trying to get people to put him out of his misery, <laughs> right? Right. Or what? Because he's been pushing it so long. He's born those. He, he's a shock jock. Who doesn't know how to do shock too well? Mm, right. He's a fucking guy who thinks he's a comedian and he's not. He has no sense of timing. He has no jokes. All he does is just yell, or he tries to uh, push people's buttons by saying "nigger" or dressing up like a Nazi. He, there's nothing clever about this asshole's comedy, man. I don't know, and and, and I get. I was like, I think you're correct. Like the gaming community, let him get a pass on this stuff because really the gaming community is very sexist and very racist yeah. itself. Yeah, and, and I'm not talking about gamers or the, I'm not saying all of them as a whole. I'm saying nope, all the, of them. You, all, everyone that ever plays games across the board. Yep. I don't, don't know if you're joking. No, or not. He's joking. <laughs> I don't know if you're joking. Don't or not. What, I'm saying, what I'm saying is though is that the community that's cultivated and the the bad eggs that kind of rise to the top that are the most vocal. It's it permeates everything. You can tell in the articles they write. You can tell in the playthroughs like this where they're using this kind of language where they shouldn't be using. And it's it's ugly, man. It, it really is. And so when I see this guy who made his living. Just initially, just screaming at the screen. That's all he did. When I first saw him, I was like, "Oh, he's the up and coming guy. Let's see what he does." Screams, makes weird noises. That's all he did. And so now maybe he cultivated himself, got a little more talent. I'll give him that. He might have some talent now. But then he goes off and does some shit like this. Like, yeah. don't wait, don't don't waste this shit. Don't I, waste the shit with this racism with this bullshit. Yeah. And then people yeah, who upsetting. don't know YouTube and YouTube culture and internet culture, they go and pick up this guy because he's the most popular YouTuber in the world, and he does something like this, and all of a sudden it scares away advertisers, and it's, it affects everyone. It's not a grudge. This is a guy that's been been allowed to do a whole bunch of shit where people who do work hard, people who are clever, people who who uh, uh, actually produce, not just get on there and scream, but they produce competent, creative content. Thank you very much. But they <laughs> and also people like us. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not even putting it up, but you know, it's like it's just even you know, it affects everyone, and I and I, it's it's only going to get worse from uh, from from this point with with him doing it because now people going to get they're going to get shook a little bit more. Well, like internet shows are maybe what the oldest ones are maybe 17, 18 years old, so we're still at the beginning of trying to figure out how we're going to cultivate you know online media and entertainment. Are we going to structure it like radio? Are we going to structure it like TV? We're, we're creating a whole new way to consume media, and he's at the forefront front of it he he's one of the high he's probably the highest paid guy who does anything on the internet yeah and yeah. and he's gonna be fucking around and ruining it for everybody so when the big wigs that have money the tv guys the cable guys like disney and uh comcast and all that shit they're gonna look down and say oh yeah these uh, internet culture it's never gonna do anything they're all a bunch of racists we can't put them on the edge we can't give them any money yeah i mean this is just it's fucking look these people are making money i'm not gonna begrudge anybody making money because the same thing that uh what's his name did uh um john tron john tron these are guys, John Tron, who's actually a funny guy, you know, but these are yeah. guys who had no management. They, you know, they came up. They're, you know, this is still a Wild West uh, atmosphere. I would give right. John, John Tron uh, uh, credit, but these people don't have handlers. And they're, they're, they're true, especially in the gaming area, the true colors are coming up. Yeah. And it's not just a matter of I don't like racists. They're fucking up a business that people have made for this. And, uh, you know, furthermore, this just goes to, to further uh, prove my point. What a f Jeez, you, oh my god, what the fuck? You know, not sorry about it at all. These are guys who, I think people who have no, because I don't care what you say, I don't think the guy has that much talent. I've been holding back now, I can like actually say, I don't think he's that talented. I don't give. I don't think he's that talented. That talented? I, don't, I don't. I don't see the talent at all. I, mean, well, I don't know. Maybe I'm I don't, I don't watch enough, so I don't know. Any, right? I don't say, watch anybody it. watch him? And you know, you, you, you're, 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 you're a demographic right there. Kid. Yeah, come here. What do you think? <laughs> But you like the new Joker, so I don't know if I should trust you or not. <laughs> well, he might have bad taste the same way. Okay, like I, think, I think you guys should at least say, well, first of all, that's on stream. So that was live, and he was like, like let's like a, like a real intensive, uh, intense driven uh, game. And um, Closer to the mic, man. Sorry, man. Um, I think you should watch the rest of the clip before you make any more judgments. Okay, I'll watch the rest of the clip. Because you see, he's like, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to say that. Sorry, but what the fuck? But wait, 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 wait. Fucking asshole. I don't mean that in a bad way. Jesus fucking Christ. 
What am I looking for here? No, he, I just like feel like right there, like, I mean, what can you do in that situation? I think he just not say the word. He got caught, man. <laughs> yeah. no, but I think that was an accident because I mean, you know. Yeah, but but if you when you have an accident, you do at least go stop. You say, "Whoa, stop! I I totally didn't mean to do that." Yeah, I mean, a sensible, rational person would say that, but I think his demographic type of personality he is, he was like, I'm just going to laugh this off and be like, oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to say that. Of course I didn't say that. You, you guys know me. Like, that's but he didn't even do that. Yeah, he but didn't... he did, though. He was like, oh, I didn't mean to say no, that. He didn't, no, he didn't say that. He laughed off the fact that he got mad and got so frustrated no, that he, he didn't get off, that kill. He laughed off the fact that he said it. No. Nah. No, he didn't. Nah. Watch the full part. Don't, don't. I'll I, play, you know, I'll play it again. Yeah, I'll play it again, off. man. I'll play it again. What the f Jeez, oh my god. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Beat. but what the fuck? Okay, I'm sorry. I don't count. What a fucking asshole. Still mad. I don't mean that in a bad way. He apologized for the asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's saying, he's like, he, he's like, oh, what a a-hole. Because he, he didn't want to say the end. I feel, look, I, and I feel in this situation, the hatred and the contempt that PewDiePie is getting is 100% warranted. I feel like in these situations... If you just say, oh, he didn't mean to say it, people are going to feel more emboldened and say, oh, I said the N-word, but I didn't mean it. So I feel 100% he should be getting the contempt and hatred that he's getting. But if I'm looking at him as a person, I feel he didn't mean to say it. I don't man, know what man, person you're every, looking at. Every, everything you're saying is what I kept hearing about Donald Trump. People <laughs> would say, like, well, I know he said that, but I feel like he's not a racist in his heart. But Donald Trump like, is Shh. more. Like, let, me, let me, more what? But, I mean, Donald Trump, well, I don't want to talk policies, but, you know, Donald Trump is more, you know, obvious in a sense. I mean, you can look... You don't get more obvious than this You're right You're hard on, man. <laughs> this is one isolated incident. You can look back through all of PewDiePie, and you can never say... This is not an isolated incident. The okay, time he so dressed up as a Nazi and had he no... Didn't, he didn't dress up as a Nazi. He said, like, Nazi, like, like in a joke. Like... Oh, well, I made him dress no, up. He had a the, sign that someone held that's, up. That's that what it was. Yeah, he said, he said uh, "Right, Nazi on this sign." Let me let me say what I'm trying to let me let me tell you what I'm trying to say here, and I'll, I'll drop this real quick. But it's, it's, I'm not one of those people who gets triggered by that word. I think everything needs to be looked at case one case. case at a time. I'm, you know, I, and yeah. I, I don't. You know, I'm not. I don't even hate this guy. I don't even want. I don't even want to lose his business. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, is that we have had all these YouTubers who have been so rewarded for trying to be shocking, for trying to, and for doing actually nothing. Jake Paul. What happened that's with him? The, that's the douchebag that does all the prank videos and is ruining his neighborhood in Beverly Hills. Wait, I think he's talking about something different. I'm just uh, saying, no, no. But, no, but he was a guy that w went to Vine, got a million views and stuff. His brother has a million, billion people, and he's just going around acting like an asshole in his neighborhood, destroying property, recording it, and making a million dollars. Yeah, see, and it's, it's, this is a culture that's getting out of control where people are emboldened and think they can get away with anything now without having any, like I said, real talent behind it. And I think that at some, you know, and I've always said that if you have no real talent for anything, it's going to get to some point where this shocking humor that you're going to, that you keep trying without the talent behind it, you're going to keep pushing it into a direction that's going to get you in trouble. Right. And that, and it's, we've seen it happen with a lot of people. Him saying that word, he said that so loosely and casually that he should be held accountable for it because if he's not, what else is he going to do so loosely and freely thinking that he can get away with it? What, who else is going to look at him and think what kid is going to look at him and think like that's their role model or that's somebody that they should aspire to be and try to do that? You know, and I'm not saying that shock, shock humor is not bad. Fuck, man. I, you know, I learned everything I think I got from a lot of shock comedians, including Howard Stern. Right. But all these people were clever with what they had. We're looking at a generation right now that is brought up on shit that is just nothing but people screaming and going out and doing rude shit to other people. Right. And it's really bothering me that this is what we've come to. But this has been a trend for a while, even during our time, where it was the, you had everyone who was talented, who had resources doing all the stuff. And there was more people who wanted to do it but didn't have that. And they would do things that, that weren't up to par, but then other people would see it and go like, oh, that looks like something I can do. I want to support that. I like that thing. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's, it has just fed on itself to this point now where people, they want to be famous, they want to be elevated, and they aren't trying to go like, how can I work really hard? What, what talent do I have? It's just like, what's the easiest thing I can do to right. get to that point? And other people see it and go like, yeah, that looks like, looks like something I would do. That's, that looks like something me and my friends would put together. I right. like this. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like this argument is kind of like devolving into like saying PewDiePie doesn't have talent. I mean, 
on the surface, he's playing a video game with the um, square in the corner with his face. It doesn't seem like much challenge, but like his other videos, it's a lot of editing, you know, a lot of like, like a lot of stuff. And maybe he's not the greatest com uh, comedian, um, but I don't know if you can just say he doesn't have any talent. You know what? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you this. Uh, while what he does is not my thing. I've yeah. seen other people try to do it. And they're really, and they show me, okay, this is what it's like when you're really terrible. When they don't really have anything to say and there's ums and ahs and they don't have yeah. the sound together. So I get that. But a lot of the things that he does is, there, I will say that he does, he, you know, his talent, I'll give you this. And this is me not watching. I, I, I used to watch him back in the day and I didn't know he, I didn't even know he was that big. <laughs> I was watching. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, I was watching. I know he, no, I used to watch him and thought like, okay, and I had nothing against the guy. I was like, ah, oh, this, this guy, I'm like, you know, I, I watch his playthroughs every now and then because I will give you this. He does keep them going. Yeah. Uh, he, I guess if you really want to go there, a talent is not letting there be any dead space, mm -hmm. not letting there be a lag in something. However, a lot of the lagging that I mean, a lot of that dead space is filled by screaming and yelling yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> and it's nonsense. So, uh, hey, look, I'm, I'm not the crowd then. So if anybody, right, it's a tailored to a younger crowd. I mean, you don't yeah. I mean, you don't need a lot to entertain you know, teenagers. God you know, help them. I mean, like I said, somebody put in the chat right there. Jackass. There's a bunch of guys in, in, in shopping carts throwing each other off hills. Like, you know what? That's what I'm time. talking about. So, so yeah, someone in there said, you know what? That's like Martin said, that's something I can do. And then when I was like in high school. Everybody that I knew that had a camera phone, because that's what they were called at the time, uh -huh. they were doing jackass shit. And they but, were causing havoc and, and trouble like the same way. I tell you what, those guys, it looked like it was easy, but it, but it was not. They, there was more than just shooting somebody with a bulletproof vest. They knew, like, Johnny Knoxville is talented. Because right. when Johnny Knoxville yeah. took, the, like, when he did something that we consider dumb or he injured himself, no matter how hard he injured himself, he came back with something smart and witty to say. Right. Uh, he didn't just like just lay on the ground like oh, I'm I'm not myself. isn't that crazy? I'm not discounting him. I'm just saying the children who saw that who thought it was real are now making YouTube videos. And it goes to show why Jackass and that crew was talented and these people are not. Right. Sure. Like Steve O, he's like you said, he went to he's part of that whole series and he went to clown college. He knew how to take falls, he knew yeah. how to take hits. Nobody knew that about I didn't know that about him until he came on the show. Yeah. But I, you know what, like I said, look, don't say the N-word. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in a live is, public is really, forum. Is it really that hard? It's, <laughs> and like, I guess thing, I thought about it, I was like, could I even say it with a hard R? I don't even think I could. Like I I couldn't could I, muster that up. Dude. I right. said, go ahead, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know you do. He's about to call you one, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, apparently it's fine, okay? I'll play a video game and say it, right? Is it okay then? Yeah, you can say no. it as long as you're playing a video game. Uh, do you think it's okay as much as you joke? Like, do you, honestly, do you think? Yeah, I think, okay. I, I'm like Ice Cube, and I said it before Ice Cube said it. Uh, before he went on Bill Maher, I almost felt like I, I wish people had heard me say it. I was like, man, this guy said exactly what I said. I said that, and I really mean this. I said that uh, it's one of those things where that is, and I don't, I, I don't like going out and causing any kind of wedge between races so when i when i i could even understand if a white person said it if there was some reasonable or, or you know some context to it but i do believe like steph curry didn't make the shot <laughs> you know, exactly martin hey it is nfl week one a lot of that's going around this week. <laughs> uh, like when people call me the n-word because i didn't like it but you know <laughs> no <laughs> I, I understand now no i I do believe it is one of those things where it was such an ugly word that was used to put some people down and people in a certain race of people, black people had no choice but to take that word. And it was applied to them so much that they just tried to take the, the power out of it by using it themselves. Right. And I, while I think it's you know, overused today, like I, I see a lot of kids who fill that word in because they're too ignorant to like complete a sentence. White kids. Uh, and, the yeah, whitest and, kids of all time. Uh, yeah, we got one right here on, you know, yeah. with, with, with uh, over a million uh, uh, subscribers. But, you know... Uh, <laughs> well, you know what your future self is going to look like. <laughs> no, I, um, but you know, it's, it's kind of it, as much appropriation that goes on. It does. And I know it's still a sore issue and it happens, but as much as it happens, that's one thing that's not going to be taken from us, you know? And, 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 and yeah, I, I do think, uh, there are certain ways that we use it and I'm glad that we have it and that people are, uncomfortable about it it should be because now people know how uncomfortable it was when it was used against the, their targets um it's our word now and that's one of the things that we have and i won't 
abuse it. I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable. I don't want to, I don't want to cause anything between the races, but that's how it is. That's how I feel about it. So when this guy uses that loosely as he does, because he feels like he can, because he has a million people that he thinks agree with him, that's a problem. Right. And in this climate, it's not the time to do it. You're gonna, he's gonna lose it. If he doesn't lose everything at this point, I'm gonna be upset. I doubt it. It's not that he deserves it. It's just that, or I mean, he does deserve it. What am I talking about? But you know, like at a certain point, you know, uh, you know it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck. It's, it's a duck. He's man. not. He's not gonna lose anything. I can tell you that right now. He might lose of some sponsors, and that might affect his income. But he will still make a good living. And I'm and I'm not even hating on that. That's fine, man. I would just. Just learn a fucking lesson from this. I think we all think what we think at the end of the day, but I think just in the situation, like you saying it, he's saying it freely. I mean, this is like the only time he said it, and this was like in a high. I doubt it. <laughs> but but the thing anybody is, buying that shit at all? But, but like you say, this is high intensity, and that's when your car is flipped over or you're trapped in a burning building. To you. He's just playing a video game. But that is you. not high intensity. I'm sorry. Yeah. To some people. Like, no. But no. If you're no. Like, like no, 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 like no, 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 no. If somebody, if somebody decides that's in high intensity, they're wrong. That's their, that's their brain playing tricks on them. No life was actually in danger. Uh, so some pixels who were going to move a different direction. That is nothing <laughs> to say that's high intensity. That's, that is bullshit. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, I mean, I'm not mad at you, but they, they, the the very idea that well, I was I was trying not to get killed. I was trying to kill this guy, so that made it okay. Fuck that. And to your point. Where you're saying like you know the guys in Korea who play like StarCraft professionally for millions and millions of dollars, that okay is closer, but he's not doing that. He's just doing a game for his YouTube channel. Hey, I think everybody, I think everybody's different, and like this is the type of game. Yeah, you're real different, but let me. Just, <laughs> yeah, let's, you know, I'm gonna give you the closing word because because yeah. you ain't gonna stop this shit. No, All right. no, no, I'll stop. No, go ahead. Get the last word on there. I'm just saying, like, I'm not defending him. Like, I, he des- definitely deserved. Because if we just say, oh, it's okay, it was an accident. This this stuff will never stop. And we see, even if we do that, it still continues. I'm just saying. To him in this game, you know, it's a long game, it's intense, one life, stuff slips out. You got to chat with a bunch of racist stuff scrolling up past you, all types of stuff. I, you know, people are... I got a, I got a message here. I got a message here, and this is, uh, this is from Solomon Uatu. I know Solomon. Solomon, he, just, he must be watching the stream right now. Uh, he says, it's so sad that black kids are so willing to give racism a pass. I'm watching the Sunday service. People need to take a stronger stance on racism. It will go away when I got put it on here. It will go away when racist when a when a racist is considered as bad as a pedo. So him and I, him and this guy, we've had our back and forth. Now I don't know, and we've had our arguments about pedophiles too. Because <laughs> he just brought it up out of nowhere. Right? Yeah. Hey, I'm okay, man. We talking about no. Uh, yeah, it's it. I I I, I'll, I'll, I would conclude with this, man. I think that. You being the demographic that this is in, and you watching this so much, uh, you have Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I got it. I got it. You I'm, know, under, I'm trying to look at it from multiple okay. viewpoints. Okay, I got you. We we will not agree at all. The youth, we man. Agree. That's the youth. No, we we do not agree. You I can tell you. You think it's bad? Boy, that I think it's bad that he said. That I don't mean. think you think it's that bad. Yeah. I do think it's bad. All right. I'm just trying to say why he said it. All right, we out of here. <laughs> uh, oh, we well, out of he here because he's an asshole. Well, it's Martin. What I gotta say? Well said. What you said right there. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, people. Uh, the youth of the day. So. <laughs> <laughs>